This video is about uh, campsite selection. So we go on these UV events or campaigns, uh, or if you're out looking to camp and you're gonna set up one of the um, tarp configurations, one of the four basics, the wedge, the cave, the A-frame, or, or a lean-to that we're out here filming today. It reminded me to take a second to talk about the, uh, the W's of uh, camping. W. The, uh, there are eight W's. Uh, some of you heard about the four W's before. Uh, I've added a few. And it's a simple way to remember when you go out camping. The first couple W's, uh, watch and witness, those happen before you leave. So witness is going to be, if you go out, you shouldn't go out by yourself, but when you go out camping, there should always be someone uh, back home who knows where I'm going and um, you know how long I'm gonna be gone. Uh, that's part of the watch. Where I'm going and, and when I'm gonna be back. So someone knows there's a witness at home that knows when I went out, when I plan to return, and where I'm at. So that helps if uh, an emergency does occur. It helps uh, um, rescue personnel and um, SAR get there to help me out. So the first two W's, a witness and when, or watch, like when I'm going to be back, that happens before you even leave. <clears throat> when you're out in the woods and you're selecting your campsite, you're going to look for the other W's. First thing is you want to take into account uh, the wind. When you pitch your shelter at night, especially if it's a tarp style we're out here doing today, wind is very important. Um, you want to use the wind to keep the bugs off of you. Uh, the wind is important for uh, thermal regulation and the maintenance of your fire. Um, if you're hunting, wind is very important. So wind is the first um, determinant of where your campsite will be. The next would be wood, which is really just shorthand for resources. In the, the, the northern Michigan or the eastern woodland forest, that's great. Uh, maybe in the desert so much and wood's not my main fuel or I'm not going to pitch my tarp or build my shelters out of wood. That might not be as important. Uh, just think of it as shorthand for resources. So wind, wood. Next is water. Am I close to a water source? Uh, am, I, am I able to get fresh water? Do I want to be close to water? Uh, am I packing water in? So wind, wood, water. Next you want to watch out for uh, wild animals. Look for a sign before you pitch your camp that you're not 20 feet from a bear den or you're on the middle of an elk run um, or there's uh, evidence of uh, uh, red ants. You're not next to an ant mound. Uh, termites, ticks, tarantulas, snakes, scorpions. Not making the outdoors seem as awesome right now. So wild animals. And then uh, something called a widow maker. Especially if you're using a hammock, a tarp, or a tent setup. You're going to want to look up into the trees above and make sure there's not um, a dead tree that's ready to fall and um, make a widow of your wife or a widower of your husband. So you're looking for, before you go, I find a witness who knows where I'm going. Uh, I set the watch so they know when I'll be back. And then I look for uh, the direction of the wind. Uh, is there wood and water available? What's the wild animal and critter situation? What, uh, are there any widow makers above that? And then the last W would be for maybe a, a camp that's gonna be in one spot for more than two or three nights. Sometimes we go on extended um, campaigns and that's waste. Find a common latrine area. You can't have everyone just relieving themselves in, in any direction constantly. Uh, it's not good for the environment. It's inconvenient for other campers. Um, but if you can get a designated direction, like listen, when we go to use the restroom at night, Everybody go uh, southwest because there's a ravine. Uh, obviously, make sure you bury your waste. But in a longer term campaign with 12 or more individuals or even six or more individuals, maybe designate a latrine area uh, where you're going to uh, process that waste afterwards and clean the camp up so you make minimal environmental impact. So get your witness, set a watch, wind, wood, water, wild animals, widow makers, and what do you can do with waste? So those are the eight W's of campsite selection that we teach in the Uncivilized Vitality Method so you can enjoy the outdoors safely um, and in an uh, environmentally friendly way. So um, let us know what, what you look for in campsite selection in the comments below. What do you think of that 8W mnemonic? Um, and then like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel and get out there and uh, start camping.